So have you been in situations where you committed something to people and you weren't able to live up to those commitments? Or perhaps it might also be a opposite situation where someone else made a commitment to you and he or she may not have been able to live up to that commitment. Either case, not living up to commitment is considered to be absolutely unprofessional. We cannot afford not to fulfill the commitments that we make to other people. So how do we ensure that our commitments are fulfilled and we establish credibility in the right way? So two golden principles, which I tend to follow, which I'm gonna share with you, I think will be extremely important for you to ensure that you live up to the commitments that you make to other people. This is applicable both in your personal life as well as in your professional career. So here is principle number one. It's called under commit, but over deliver. Now, what does that mean? Let's say, for example, you're working with a senior colleague who has requested you to complete a task. And the task roughly takes about three days to complete. Now, instead of saying three days, you ask for four days. Okay, so here is what you do. You say, I'm going to need four days to complete the task. Now, you've said four, but if you complete it in three, here is what happens. You now create a wow factor because you committed to complete it in four, but you delivered it within three days. Will you always get a buffer? Not necessarily, but as well as possible, it's important to keep some buffer just in case things go wrong. Sometimes there is an exigency, there is a priority that might deviate your attention from the current task to some other task. So always a preferable idea to ask for a little bit of buffer. So when you keep a buffer and deliver within the deadline that you have set, you create a wow factor. And that is what we call as over deliver. So always under commit and over deliver. That's where you create customer delight. That's where you build credibility as a professional. Number two is what we call as a very simple strategy, but an effective strategy. It's called proactive communication. So let's say once again, you have made a commitment to someone that you will deliver the task in four days. Now, at the end of day one, you get to know that the task is taking more duration than what you anticipated previously. It might take maybe four or five or six days. Now, if, because you are going beyond the deadline that was set, here is what you do. You pick up the phone and inform the other party at the end of day one that, look, I committed that I'll deliver this in so-and-so days, but it's going to take more time. First of all, I apologize for that. But I made a mistake in calculating and estimating the time required. However, I will try to still complete it within that time. But just in case it doesn't happen, I would request you to bear with me for a day more. I do not want to compromise on the quality of the deliverable here, but I'll give it to you within so many days. So you always inform people in advance when things are not going to be completed within the previously set deadline. Now, a lot of people do not do this. Why? Because the moment I leak the bad news that the task will not be completed as per the previously set deadlines, there is every possibility the other person might get angry at you, which is very natural, isn't it? However, a thorough professional would always ensure that you proactively communicate to the other person that you will not be able to deliver a task as committed previously. It's, it's very simple. It's like going to a railway station where if your train is arriving late, you expect that there is an announcement that your train is going to arrive late. Although it might make you momentarily frustrated and angry, but you will take that over a period of time and you'll be okay with it. But if you have no announcement like that, then you will feel disgusted, disappointed, and completely let down. The same applies when it comes to a commitment as well. If you feel that your commitment will take a hit because the time that you require to complete the task is going to be more, always, always proactively communicate. So here are the two golden principles, simple but vital. Rule number one, always under commit but over deliver. Try to keep some buffer. When you complete the task within the deadline set, you create a buffer. But just a word of caution here, make sure that you don't keep too much of buffer because then people will stop trusting you, okay? It's a little bit of buffer. That's under commit and over deliver. Rule number two, Proactively communicate whenever you anticipate that you're going to cross the deadline. People might get angry with you momentarily, but they'll understand it. 
These are the two golden principles that you may want to follow in your context, whether professionally or personally. Here's an added tip. If you can't live up to the commitments that you make to yourself, there is no way under the sun that you're going to live up to the commitments that you make to other people. So start living up to the commitments that you make to yourself first, because you are the person whom you trust and respect the most. Only then will you be able to live up to the commitments that you make to others. I hope these tips really help you and keep you in good stead. Thank you so much for listening.